Hello, this is Mr. Inadequate. The game is Victoria Vicky 3, or Vicky 2, rather, I'm sorry. I've already taped this, but I forgot to turn on my recording uh, software, so I'm taping it again. Now, I'm doing this because as time gets closer to Victoria 3 being released, I'm getting more excited to play it, and I want to try to learn Victoria 2. I played it, but it's one of those games that doesn't stick with me that much. So I'm going to go over the tutorial. I'm just going to, I'm probably going to do a number of videos, and I'm going to take each, there'll be short videos focusing on one thing. So, <coughs> technology. To move forward in the world, you need technology. Technology improves it. Everything from your army to your industry. To manage technology, open the technology screen. The technology screen. Okay, this is the technology screen. From here, you can start the research of your technology. <coughs> technology is divided into five types. Army, Navy, Commerce, Culture, and Industry. Uh, the tutorial game starts in Belgium, and Belgium is a budding industrial power. Let's click Industry. So here are all the different types of technology under industry. Power, mechanization, metallurgy, infrastructure, chemistry, and electricity. They're now presented with all industrial technologies. The green ones are the ones you already have. The yellow ones are those you can research and the gray ones are not available yet. In our quest to become an industrial powerhouse, we should try improving our infrastructure. Click Experimental Railroad. Now, notice the square in the lower right hand corner changed. In this square you can see the effects your technology will have when completed as well as inventions that can spawn. Now it allows railroad. There's no technologies that can spawn. Start your project by clicking start research. Now the selected text should have turned blue. This means the project is ongoing. You can always change the project you're researching by starting another. So we'll go to intermediary technology. <coughs> Each technology research has a research point cost. This is the amount of research points you must generate before technology is finished. If you click any technology, you can see this cost in the top part of the information window. Now, before we do that, let's go up here. Clergymen provide 2.96 research points, 1.97% of the population. 2% is optimal. Clerks provide 0.04 research points. 0.08% of the population, 4% is optimal. Secondary power, which is what we are, plus 1.25. Literacy, plus 1.10. Daily base research points are 5.36. Plurality, plus 2.1%. From improved technology plus 50%, which means we have daily research points of plus 8.16. And there's our research point check there, 3600. Well, that's how much we need for the experimental railroad. Uh, that's our. So we invest those, the points we're generating on a daily basis goes into the 3,600 points to uh, actually get Experimental Railroad. Okay, I'm glad that I looked at that that way because I didn't really understand about that. We're, we're always generating research points, but they're directed at the... Uh, research that we are doing currently. Okay, that's interesting. It's something I didn't understand and I'm glad that I was able to discuss it with myself with you guys listening. Next. 
<coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. Research points are generated by your population, specifically by your clergymen and clerks. How many research points they generated is affected by how literate they are. And there's our populations literacy label. In addition, research points are affected by the plurality of your country as well as technological progress. Take a moment, move your mouse over the technological technology button in the top bar and find out how many research points Belgium generates. And uh, as you can see, we already did that, and that, that was it. Now we shall talk about the effects of technology. Click the strategic mobility tech under the army tech. Okay. Inventing a technology has two kinds of effects. The immediate effect, which would be these, supply consumption, big end cap, port max level, and inventions, which would be these, field fortifications and railroad transport groups. <coughs> if you take a look at the information screen, you can see that strategic mobility affects port level, Army reconnaissance and Army supply consumption. These effects will be immediate when the technology is researched. Inventions. Now, with the light bulb next to the technology, these represent inventions. There's the light bulb. If you hover your mouse over them, you can see the effects. Uh, it's not doing it, but that's okay. The effects of inventions are not immediate. Rather, there is a chance that they might trigger randomly after you have researched their technology. The color of the light bulb tells you if that technology is triggered yet. Gray means that it can't trigger. Yellow that it may trigger. And green that it has already happened. And these are gray because we haven't completed strategic mobility yet. So there's no way that they can trigger Take a moment to check out which inventions different technologies have, then click next. So, we'll go from left to right. We already looked at strategic mobility. Now, muzzle-loaded rifles allows you to make engineers, and combat width is minus 2.0. When I do uh, the military again, I'll find that out. Now, okay, here we go. Muzzle-loaded rifle army helps your infantry attack, uh, gives them more consumption, engineers, same, dragoons, cavalry, and irregular attack. Base chance is 5%. Any, uh, and you can read the rest of it. Now, let's go to iron muzzle-loaded artillery. No inventions, but it helps artillery attack. Military plans gives you plus five on army organization and increases your supply consumption. <coughs> now, telegraph coordination. You can read them. Uh, mobilization timetables helps you uh, get 1% more mobilization, and then personal category tables, again, mobilization size, okay, military plans, more organization and consumption, no, I already did this, I'm sorry, army professionalism, more consumption, morale is plus 10%, Tactics plus 25%. Okay. Academic training increases the morale, field training, the mobilization the impact, and societal status. The impact of the mobilization. Let's see. Yeah, those are both minuses. It has less effect on society. Okay. Now let's go to the Navy. Battleship column doctrine. Gives you an extra naval base, affects your long range fire, 
which basically is your organization, and then increases your max speed. Now, steamers, you can build steamers and you ha can have uh, steamer convoys. Now, mechanized fishing vessels, which increases your fish production by 50%. Steamer automatic construction parts helps your steamer convoys protection throughput by 10%. Steamer transports, you can basically you can uh, build them. And then commercial raiders, same thing, you can build commercial raiders. Fire control systems. Speeds up how fast you can uh, build your navies. Optical range finders gives you a plus one on attack. Gyro stabilized fire control plus one on attack. Naval plans increases your supply range by 10%. Night training. Or that's the Navy organization. Enemy plotting cards, more organization. Target hit profile analysis, more organization. And Navy professionalism, more organization. This is this is all about increasing your uh, the organization of your Navy. Now, let's go to comments. <clears throat> Stock of chain. That's your tax efficiency goes up by plus five percent, which could be very useful, especially early on. Multitude of financial instruments increases tax efficiency. Insurance companies tax efficiencies increase. Regulated buying and selling of stocks again more. So getting this researched. And then discovering these inventions gives you about 8% tax efficiency. Okay. Ad hoc money bill printing. Admin efficiency. Okay. Silver standard, more plus 3% tax efficiency. That's a little monetary system, another 3% tax efficiency. Late classical theory, factory import efficiency tax minus 1%. So John Elliott Cairns, permanent prestige plus 1. Torrens, permanent prestige plus 1. And John Stuart Mill, permanent prestige plus 1. So that would help your prestige. Okay, market structure. Diplomatic influence plus 10%. Mining input, uh, output rather, plus 10%. Farming output plus 10%. Those could be useful. Poly poly structure, or polypoly, probably is how it's pronounced. Structure, factory input efficiency tax minus 2%. I'll go, I'll repronounce it, I'm sorry. Again, with the output efficiency and then monopoly. Factory throughput tax plus 5%. Okay, now organized factories. More output efficiency. Again, more. Again, more. And again, more. So it's all about how uh, efficient your factories are. Now let's go to culture. Romanticism. Prestige gauge. Prestige gain plus 5%. Then shared prestige plus five, and uh, I believe it will explain shared prestige a little bit better on our next thing. Now, idealism gives you plus 50% research points, and then more sh shared prestige. Positiv positivism. 
increases your uh, education efficiency by 10% and colonial migration by plus 5%. Okay, no inventions. Uh, ideological plot gives you an other, an additional math, max national focus, and then I'm not sure exactly what that does there. These are all things having to do with being non-colonial. Political reform desire on this one. Plurality, 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 and suppression efficiency, and then plurality. Okay. And now socialism. Associate. Uh, I'm not gonna, sometimes I can't get words out of my mouth. Reinforcement plus 5%, and experience plus 5%, no inventions. So now we'll go to industry. High and low pressure system, mining output, and farming output. Interchange all parts, which I can't, oh, you would need a, I don't know. Oh, actually, that's why. Mechanical production, more uh, factory throughput. Cotton production and wool production is increased, and fabric that and fabric production, wool, silk, and fabric production. Cotton, wool, silk, and fabric production. Timber production output. Tropical wood production output. Timber production output. Uh, fruit production output, grain production output, and tea production output are all increased. And this one, fruit, grain, and tea are all increased. And then mechanized slaughtering block, wool is increased and cattle production is increased. Does it slow down further? It does. Precision work, ammunition production output, glass production output and activates machine parts. Okay. Now clean coal. Uh, immediately affects coal production, sulfur production, iron production, coal mine size, sulfur mine size, and iron mine size. And then the inventions that could trigger are pit coal which increases coal production, and coke, which also does that. Wow, Arg Martian. Okay. Now, we're already doing experimental railroad, and we've looked at that. Our early railroad just adds how many, another railroad that you can make. And then finally, medicine. Increases your supply limit. Combat medicine. Army, a negative army, attrition, and uh, military hospitals plus one percent. This one, uh, negative on attrition, adds to military hospitals on top though. Vaccination, again with the army attrition and military hospitals, chemotherapy, army attrition, genetic heredity, heredity uh, pop growth plus clinical thermometers and binaural, binaural uh, stethoscopes, pop growth, prophylaxis against malaria, uh, army attrition, military hospitals, and uh, minimum life rating. Pressure chambers for thoracic surgery. Plus 10% shared prestige. Okay. Now, having done that, let's move on. We're going to advanced technology. <coughs> In the top bar, you see several technology schools. This represents the direction of our technological establishment wants to take our nation. In. Now, we have changed to Prussia. 
and you can see there's pluses in military and industry, Navy and uh, culture, they have minus 10%. Oh, well, Navy's minus five. As you can see, Prussia is dominated by the military industrial complex. It gives us a bonus for military tech, but researching culture tech. You can change the tech school by a decision. This requires you to change the direction of your nation, first of all. As long as military spending remains high, many or brightest will seek a military career. Let's say a few words about industry tech. Click, click the industry tab in the technologies. Okay. Industrial technology takes us further on the path to industrialization. Things like railroads, mines, and factories. Note that many of the technologies are broad-based, improving the output of all factories or decreasing the input needs of all factories. Let's move on to the cultural technology. Click the cultural tab. <coughs> cultural technology represents the advancement of culture and philosophy in our nation. Natural focus and education falls under this category. There are also many things that give you prestige, both bonuses that act as multipliers on future prestige gains and one-off gains. With the cultural technologies being ahead of one's time, it is especially important as the first to discover. For example, sociology gets a big prestige boost. Being runner-up is not worthless, however, if every nation gets a certain eventualist type, has part of the shared prestige bonus, but it is decreased a little. And that's what I was talking about when I said they would cover this again. So shared prestige means that Whoever discovers it first gets the whatever the plus is. The next person gets a little tiny bit less than that, and on and on and on. Okay. Commerce is a branch of technology that covers subjects like, for example, banks, economic theory, and money standardization. If you need to improve your taxation administration, this is the place to look. But there are also some improvements to industry to be found here. Let's talk. Let's do the Navy. This one is fairly straightforward, making your ship bigger, faster, and heavier rating, but also giving your Navy's longer range, just helping you colonize further away. And finally, Army. <coughs> Most advances in the field armies are generalized for all your troops. Things like supply consumption, attack power, and organization. At the bottom of the list, you can find some new units as well, namely tanks and planes. So, going to click next and uh, this is where I'm going to uh, basically end this uh, video this is Mr. Inadequate and I'm, I'm basically trying to learn Vicky too so that I have at least a little bit of understanding of how to play Vicky 3 from what I've seen of the videos of the devs playing everything there's a lot of changes especially interests and how they affect your trading and whether or not you, like, on the Devs Japan Play video, they were showing that until, like, England has a trade port, uh, say, in Hong Kong, until they get that from a war with China, the Great Qing or whatever, uh, until they get Hong Kong, they don't have any interest on all the other nations in that area, for example, Japan. Once they get it, they can have an interest in Japan. <coughs> Interests mean that you can improve your relations one way or another, and all the different, and you can maybe trade and things like that. Japan's very difficult because they're uh, isolationist and traditionalists, and Boy, I don't want to play as Japan. So, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope my discussion of what I was learning helps you to understand Victoria 2 a little bit better, or at least the technology aspect. I'll try to cover politics next. Anyhow, this is Mr. Inadequate. I'm signing out, and I'll see you in the next video.